Greetings and thank you for joining me on the Victory Independence channel. Very interesting times we live in right now. We're seeing bonds have a massive and dramatic sell-off, the most since we've seen since Lehman Brothers, of course, in 2010, minus the Lehman Brothers moment. Uh, Moody's just warned the U.S. government that if they extend this tax plan and don't cut spending, they might be forced to reduce the U.S. credit rating, which would obviously be suicide. I don't know if Moody's would actually ever do that. Uh, we did see China's credit, agency, credit rated agencies, all five of them downgrade the U.S. Uh, and by the way, as I make this video, the Senate just passed the, um, the extension and all the pork and just, it's, it's crazy. So much stuff in that thing. It's ridiculous. Uh, these guys can go to hell as far as I'm concerned, because what they just did not 45 days from an election that was all about stop the spending guys the people are asking you you know get manage the deficit manage the budget and then this congress basically says f you to the american people well you know what i'm, I'm thinking the same thing right back at you and um you know i'm doing things on my own personal life to prepare you guys obviously know that look um I don't want the United States to suffer hyperinflation, but I certainly believe it's going to happen. Um, I don't know when it's going to happen. Could happen in five days, could happen in five years. I spoke personally to John Williams, and he says he thinks it's going to happen in six months. And I'll be honest with you, I look at it and go, gosh, I just don't see it. What's going to happen in six months that could just change the whole thing? And of course, we always know there could be this, this surprise moment Um that is expected, but we don't know when it's going to happen, like a major bond sell-off. Will it continue? Will it continue into January and then into February? Uh, will we see the bond bubble just completely burst? Or are we just seeing it leaking right now and then it doesn't burst for a year from now or two years from now? Um, certainly, I think there's a high risk in the next five years, really high risk, to be honest with you, in the next two years. Um, I'd be surprised if it, something major didn't happen within two years to the U.S. currency. Um, you know, unless they actually came in and officially just devalued it, you know, it's hard to predict those things, what's going to happen after that. Looking at, our, looking at our debt, the 26th consecutive month of uh, a deficit for the United States, unsustainable acceleration. I mean, I was looking at the numbers. Uh, let me get them right here. $150 billion for November. That brings, it's the second fiscal month for the year, fiscal year starts in October, brings it to $290 billion. That is more. In fact, that is almost double the entire debt for 2001. We just did in two months. We did nearly a trillion dollars in 08, over a trillion, I think 1.7 in 09, trillion and change in uh, uh, in 2010, and they're projecting more than a trillion dollars in 2011. We have literally, in 2000, went from a four to five trillion roughly dollar deficit to 14 trillion dollars. Wow. Uh, we were one trillion dollars in debt um, in 1980. It took all those years to finally break a trillion dollars in 1980. And here we have just dramatically and rapidly increased our deficits. Um, I just, uh, in closing this video, I don't recommend doing this, but I'm going to disclose to you guys um, that I did this because I just feel like it's on my heart. I recently borrowed money to actually buy more silver. I do not recommend this. Um, I believe the official stance for the National Inflation Association, just to disclose that, uh, I believe if the debt is fixed and you can afford the payments, they do believe to uh, you know do whatever it takes to prepare yourself and buy silver. But I've always kind of, people, that's the number one question I get. And I kind of always just leave it untouched. I don't really know what to say about that. Like, gosh, I can't recommend people get themselves into debt. What if they get burned in the meantime? Um, you know, in the beginning in 2007, I wanted to really ramp up. I was really excited. I saw this thing coming down the pipe. And uh, I did take a home equity line out of one of my rentals to purchase some more metals and stuff. And of course, after being burned in 08, when silver collapsed 50%, it's like, dang, not gonna definitely not gonna say that to, for anyone else to do that. But um, I was recently researching 
um, a silver video. By the way, everybody who sent me content on silver, I really appreciate that. I'm done with the research. Uh, anyway, that silver video should come out soon. Um, I believe it's going to be just the most true silver video you've ever seen. Now, for you silver bugs, you guys are going to yawn. Um, a lot of you guys are going to go, well, this is missing, this is missing. Uh, when it came down to it, if there was a, a reasonable doubt, if there was a source that was questionable or a source that couldn't be confirmed, that really crazy bullish stuff you hear out there isn't going to be in the video. But uh, believe me, it's still going to be unbelievably bullish for silver. Um, I'm not going to release the title of the video, but it's going to be a very bullish video for silver. And actually, it's a lot of the stuff I knew, some of the stuff that's refreshed data, but it's got me so excited about silver that I again did what I did in 2007. I took out a small loan. It's only a 4% interest rate, but I uh, took out a loan to accumulate more silver. I mean, I'm already, you know, fairly uh, heavy into the metals. I would assume, not doing the math exactly, but well over 50% of my net worth is in precious metals. And the more, majority of my precious metals holding is in silver or mining stocks. So anyway, um, you guys have a great day. Interesting times we live in. We'll see how the rest of the week goes, the rest of the month. And of course, once the Tea Party people get in, are they going to extend that debt limit, that debt ceiling? Uh, let's see if Rand Paul or somebody shuts the place down over it. And uh, then we'll really see what Moody's does and the world. And we'll see what happens with bonds. All right, you guys, you guys have a great day.